Hi there. This is Anub. Today we are going to talk about how to onboard workgroup joint devices into MDE, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. This is the newest solution that Microsoft built to cater a lot of business scenarios where the devices won't be meeting the criteria to enroll into Intune. So Microsoft is coming up with a new architecture where workgroup joined Windows devices will also be eligible for MDE onboarding. Previously, Microsoft had a prerequisite like hybrid Azure AD join or Azure AD join devices can only be enrolled with new architecture. The onboarding prerequisites have been simplified. Now you would be able to manage workgroup joint Windows devices using MDE. Not only Windows devices, but Linux servers, Mac OS, all those kinds of devices would be able to manage directly via MDE. There is no requirement that these types of devices should be enrolled to in tune with this new architecture change. In this video, we will be going through the onboarding process of a Windows workgroup joined device and we will see the differences how does the device record show up in different portals etc etc so don't skip the video let's go ahead and check this out so let's see how to onboard workgroup joint devices to MDE this is without hybrid Azure AD joint and Azure AD joint Intune enrollment is also not required for the scenario these are workgroup joint devices Windows devices we'll see onboarding process using the local screen also see the results how much time it is going to take to reflect the results in the MDE portal etc so if you have not watched the previous video about MDE onboarding enhancement and MDE's security settings enablement options then you can click on the I button over here in YouTube to get that video so I'm not going to cover the MD enablement process over here in this video but I'm hoping that you have already enabled this feature from your MD portal so that you can manage Windows servers Linux servers Windows 10 Windows 11 devices which are workgroup joined or domain joined or Azure AD joined and Mac OS devices without needing of Intune or config manager enrollment. So what is the architecture schema for MDE managed devices? Windows devices which are workgroup joined and how to onboard those types of devices into MDE. So the first step is onboard the device to MDE using local script or GPO or something like that using the supported mechanism because you won't be able to use Intune because you are not using Intune and I am assuming that your devices are not managed by Intune that is the devices are incapable to get enrolled into Intune because of various reasons so this is the first step onboarding devices to MDE using local script or GPO once a workgroup joined device is reported back to Intune a synthetic registration of that device will happen with Azure Active Directory or Entra Synthetic registration is nothing but a dummy registration until the device is fully registered with Azure Active Directory or Entra ID. The synthetic ID, device ID will get automatically removed. Once that is done, then the device can receive the policies from Intune. And once the policies are delivered to the devices from Intune, the policy enforcement will be done by MDE. That is the main difference over here. The policy enforcement on the device will be done by MDE, not by Intune. The device status will send to MDE as well as to Intune. So you will get the device status and policy status in Intune and MDE portal. Now let's go to the next slide. These are the requirements and over here we have explained the process also. What is going to happen when you enroll a device workgroup joint device to MDE and it will be a MDE managed device and it also supports this type of onboarding this type 
type of management also supports active directory joint or azure active directory joint hybrid azure active directory joint devices as well apart from workgroup devices at this point of time non persistent desktops vms avds are not supported this is only for non persistent avds so for those types of devices if you want to manage you have to use another method onboarding method such as intune or configuration manager aka ccm etc we'll see all these in demo but just to give you a high level overview this is the machine where i have logged in with local username this is workgroup joined device windows 11 device and this is login with local user and then i ran this script to onboard this device to mde i got the script from mde portal onboarding tab okay so you can download the script and use that script for test scenarios but if you want to deploy this onboarding process in production for thousands of devices you need to look for gpo or some other mechanism such as local gpos etc etc and there's a detection script also after the onboarding process you can check whether onboarding process worked well or not using this script this is also explained in the demo once the device is onboarded you would be able to see the device in in mde portal within 2 minutes or 3 minutes it will be shown as workgroup joined device and some of the details won't be available for initial 40 minutes 50 minutes for me windows version was not available managed by was not available it was unknown for initial 40 minutes and then it automatically changed to mde and we also got the version details for initial time period there was no record available in as your active directory or entra portal as well because we have discussed about synthetic device id etc etc and it was not available in intune portal as well so after 40 50 minutes these things got populated managed by mde version numbers and then it got appeared in entra portal as enabled device and os version details are available join type is not there and even it shows mdm microsoft intune even though in microsoft intune portal this device shows us managed by mde so intune is not managing this device this device is not enrolled to intune but it is managed by mde in this scenario because this is mainly workgroup joint device at the moment i have not created any particular policy for mde onboarded device using workgroup onboarding scenario and there is no security policies also assigned to this particular device at this point of time cover the security policies in a different video but i wanted to quickly show where is the option to sync the policies so if you want to sync the policies immediately for this particular device which is onboarded using new enhanced onboarding process or architecture you can go to device record and then go to security policies and click on this three dots that will show you policy sync option let's try to onboard a windows device which is not domain join or hybrid as ready joy to mde without enrolling into intune so i'm there in onboarding tab over here under settings option under settings endpoints and then device management onboarding and in onboarding i have selected local script because i want to test this only for one device but if you have more than one device then probably it's better to use group policy or some other method to onboard these devices to mde so i have downloaded the script to onboard the device using the local script option i downloaded this particular cmd file if i try to edit it you would be able to see all the details over here in this script so i'm going to run this on my vm over here and we'll see what is happening so this is the script which i am going to run on board the windows device to mde without enrolling to intune so it says the script is for onboarding machines to microsoft defender for endpoint including security and compliance product once completed mission should light up in the portal 
within 5 to 30 minutes depending on the this machine's internet connection and power state of the machine important note over here that is script is optimized for onboarding a single device should not be used for the large scale deployment so in mde documentation we have different options to onboard devices such as group policies etc so you should use that if you have hundreds or thousands of devices and and want to onboard those devices otherwise there are options like in tune onboarding etc which we have shown in the previous videos so i'm going to confirm this by entering yes over here and then enter so starting the defender for endpoint onboarding process it says microsoft defender for endpoint onboarding process testing administrative privileges script is running with sufficient privileges performing onboarding operations starting the services if it is not running already successfully onboarded the mission to it's interesting successfully onboarded mission to microsoft defender for endpoint okay that's cool in this device i don't have any other antivirus product so this is the only antivirus product i have so it was in active state and this is a fresh device vm and it is asking to press any key to continue so i'm going to click that now let's head back to mde portal and check what is happening over there so if i go over here and then try the second step that is run a detection test why do we need to run a detection test to verify that the device is properly onboarded and reporting to the service so i'm going to copy the script and then open a command prompt window and copy the below command so i'm going to head over to that device and then pasting the command over here so this is the detection script as you can see over here so i'm going to copy this detection script and going to run this in a command prompt over here it got pasted let's run this powershell command to detect whether the md onboarding is completed or not if the prompt just disappeared that means the onboarding is completed successfully let's go back to md portal and check whether whether the device is there or not oh that's a good news i can at least see two devices now a oh, cool mde test vm is now part of onboarded devices and you can see it is a work group device it is not domain joined or azure ad joined device and still it was able to onboard this particular device now if i click on this device it is going to pull out all the details we don't have any details at the moment because it is freshly onboarded device even managed by is unknown at this point of time it should be mde basically and let's head over to entra portal and check all devices this is entra portal entra.microsoft.com that is azure ad portal and devices under identity let's search for this device mde so that device is not there yet so the device registration process is going on at the moment synthetic device record will be created now let's check the status again as you can see now it is unknown and i'm going to refresh the screen now to get the latest status refreshing the screen and initializing device inventory you can see two and you can see the versions over here it was not visible for uh, work group joint device and over here you would be able to see onboarding status onboarded and then this is the one i was looking for managed by mde so that means this device is now successfully onboarded and this is the onboarding process which i wanted to show you now let's go into the device record and check what are the policies available whether they there is any policy deployed to this particular device or not etc etc it all those details are available over here security intelligent version platform version and then security recommendations so timeline is there let's go to security policies and check what is available over there there's no security policies available for this particular device also you can see the policy sync option enabled for this particular device because mde managed it was not available for intune managed device now it is available because it is mde managed device so we will cover the creation of the security process etc in a different video but let's go to intra portal and check whether there is any mde device over there or not yes it is available now the mde device 
and it says MDM Intune and let's go to Intune admin center portal and then check what is happening over there what are the devices available so this device is available and it is managed by MDE as you can see over here that is good it is working as per Microsoft documentation now that you have seen all the details about workgroup joint device onboarding to MDE and we have also seen the demo part of it how to onboard a device using the script what are the challenges using the script and what is the detection method to understand whether the device got onboarded or not and then we have checked all the portals where we will have this device record available we have also talked about new architecture how is the communication flow etc etc hope this video was helpful thank you all for watching see you around